Well hello and welcome to Gymodism Total Notary Channel. Have you ever wondered which device you should plug into what USB port? Well, then this is the tutorial for you. Let's go! First, we'll explore the different types of USB ports and how to identify them. And here you can see them on my tower PC. Here in the front you see these, uh, these small five little metal connectors there at the front and behind them we have four connectors so uh, we have five connectors in the front here like the dots and we have four there further back in it this means it's a USB 3 yep and it's also blue most USB 3.0 are blue but on not all so count the connectors to be sure and uh, on this kind of aged motherboard here, you can see we have USB slots in the back here. We have only four connectors. There are uh, no extra five in the front here, only just four regular connectors. It means it's uh, USB 2. On this kind of old and sad laptop you see here, we have four connectors. Those in the bottom are part of the uh, just, you know, cover around it. And you see it's only those uh, connection on that black little a card thing in the middle that matters and you see there are four of them which means this is USB 2.0 on this little more modern laptop we have actually both but on this side we have five connectors in the front there which you see on the blue little card thing in the middle and we have four behind remember to look at them in the right angle because if you tilt it like this uh, you won't see much so it's also the uh, easy to understand color blue and uh, because we have those nine connections there, we know this is USB 3.0. I have now flipped the laptop. And if we look at this side, we have these black connections here. And we can only see four connectors. Which means this is USB 2.0. Alright, and if your connector, if your device has this connection, looks like this. You can see four connectors, just like that. It means it's a USB 2.0 device and that means it goes into a USB 2.0 port. If you don't have any such or haven't, have no such available or at no convenient place, you can plug it into a USB 3.0 uh, connector just as perfectly. You can stick it in there too. It will work just fine um, because USB 3.0 and 3.1 and 3.2 is backwards compatible so you know USB 1 even and USB 2 uh, works in those port as well. Um, most computer mice like this one for example uh, thus indeed have a USD, USB uh, 2.0 connector uh, and if you stick it into USB 3.0 connector it won't be faster it just will be the same, it will work. Uh, so, uh, you know, don't plug in USB 2.0 devices in uh, 3.0 uh, holes uh, and think that it will be faster, it won't. So, USB 2.0 goes to 2.0. If your device looks like this, you can see here we have uh, five small connectors in there and we have four at the front. This means it's a USB 3.0 and well, that means it goes into USB 3.0 connector. And if you don't do that, then you will suffer from speed deficiency, it might need higher broadband, that's probably why they made it USB 3.0. Um, you know, using the USB 3.0 standard doesn't mean faster in, you know, in just generally it means that it needs that bandwidth to work properly. And they are still backwards compatible, so if you stick this into a USB 2.0 uh, hole, it will work, but it will work slower than intended. That's why you want to uh, spare the USB 3.0 connectors for like, you know, this device for example. Uh, if you look at this device, it's also very pedagog pedagogically blue, you can see here five connectors in the back there, four in the front, and this is the place where you want to where, where you want to care. 
This is a portable hard drive and if you would plug this into USB 2.0 hole then it will be kind of much slower uh, to transfer stuff than intended. So this goes to USB 3.0 connector. Perfect! You may have heard that you should not connect your mice and stuff to USB uh, hubs. This is actually not true, you might as well connect them to USB hubs. The data from mouse and keyboard are usually so low, they're like always so low, that they can't really overload the bandwidth of the USB hub. So you might as well have them in a USB hub then directly. Uh, they don't need like the room port because they transfer so little data and the delay the delay from the added distance is uh, not really measurable. Uh, in any case, if you do however have lots of hard drives connected to a hub and it's a 2.0 hub and they read and write constantly and also if it's a 3.0 hub um, if you have several hard drives, not one, several then you might overload the bandwidth capacity of the hub and then you don't want to have mice and keyboard connected to the hub. But if you only have one hard drive that reads and writes at the same time, it shouldn't be any problem. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. If it helped you, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. In any case, this is your host, Jim Odessen, officially signing out. Thanks to our patrons and those. Bye.